I'm Kelly Warner. If you want to raise your children to be financially savvy adults, they need to learn a variety of skills, from budgeting to planning, earning and saving. And the earlier parents begin teaching these skills, the better. When kids see cash pop out at the ATM or credit cards being swiped left and right at the store, they don't often realize that money doesn't grow on trees. We're gonna listen to your heart. As a mom of two teenagers, pediatrician Dr. Pilar Bradshaw encourages families to begin teaching the concepts of money when their kids are young. I think money management seems like a weird thing for a pediatrician to be talking about, but it's sort of what I call the getting your kid ready for life. You know, that that's the job of, of being a parent. And the best way to teach kids to manage money is to give them opportunities to earn some beyond their regular chores. They're not having to earn the money, then they don't understand the full value of, oh, I have to do something in order to get something, that not everything comes free to me. Jillian Daggett with Selco Community Credit Union says a great way to teach younger kids about financial responsibility is with the three jar method. A jar for saving and then a jar for spending money and then a jar for, for giving because you wanna teach your children as young as you can that giving is also important. Once you set the expectations for your child's allowance, step back. Let them experience the freedom of spending, as well as the letdown of wasting money. Lead by example and show your kids how you manage money. Involve them in the household budget. Show them how you write checks or pay bills online and use coupons. And utilize the internet to teach comparative shopping skills. You can take money management to the next level by setting your children up with a simple savings account. Then when they reach their teen years, upgrade them to a checking account with a debit card. It's important for kids to start saving early so they start developing those habits and those good habits because they're gonna build upon themselves as they get older and then when they're out on their own, they're gonna have all that, that skill set of saving money and the value of money and the importance of not overspending. You're not there just to love them and to coddle them. You're there to help get them ready to be adults and money management's a big part of that. As soon as your teen turns 18, they'll get inundated by credit card offers, especially once they're in college. And building, maintaining, and protecting their credit is another important conversation. For more information on talking about credit and other money management tips for your kids, head to eugenepeds.com slash healthykids. I'm Kelly Warner.